Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know my face, my name is Alfie, aka Quantum Casa. And boy, I've got an interesting video for your faces. If you like caffeine in the evening, like me, because well, as a cyclist, hi Jeff. You probably want to find a coffee shop late at night or early evening that is open because most independent coffee shops close at 5 p.m. Don't know why. We're not going to question it. I think they should change that to maybe 7 p.m. But that's why you're here. We're going to go find a coffee shop for the nighttime vibes. So we're here at Kit Furl, a Austrian restaurant that also does caffeine. Caffeine equals coffee and coffee means happy. So the one thing that I love about Kit Fell is that it's in Camden Passage at the back of the Angel and it's very discreet. It was discreet, but it isn't now. Hands are these. Right, keep going. The one thing that I love about Kip Felder, it's in Camden Passage, and Camden Passage is such a discreet, quiet place. It's perfect for an evening coffee. And talking about caffeine, I ordered myself a cafe latte, as you can see here, which looks amazing. And what I love about this, just by looking at it here, it comes with this little water dish. And this little water dish here, there's not many places, not many independent coffee shops give you a glass of water with your coffee. But when you go abroad, they do that, because after you drink your coffee, you have a glass of water to cleanse your palate. And that's what I love about that. So I'm not just here to show you guys the availability of nighttime coffee shops I'm here actually just to review their coffee as well so if it's good or not if it's good it's a bonus but if it's not it's it's not but it's still a coffee shop that's open up late at night so it's a win-win either way and now to give this a little try that's a good latte I like that that is really nice the foam is like rich and creamy like the coffee it's at a perfect temperature. I like that. I'm definitely gonna come here more often. Like, it's a nice summer's evening. The lights are lighting. The police sirens are sirening because it's London. You know, that, that ambiance. You know what I mean? So I'm here at the second nighttime coffee shop called Scooter Cafe, located at the back of Waterloo. And I ordered myself an oat latte. Basically, James told me not to be so loud because everyone here, they're on a date and I'm not. One thing that I do love about this place is the aesthetic. It's very nice, like it's very feng shui. The lights, the signs, the atmosphere, boom, amazing. What I do love about this place as well that it closes at 10 p.m. And that is quite nice, actually. I like that. And if you're out in London looking for like a late night coffee shop vibe and date, this is the place here. We're currently sat in the back garden a bit where there's fairy lights to like light up the whole atmosphere. The vibe is there, it exists. I feel so awkward here because every, everyone's just trying to kind of have a moment and I'm kind of just disturbing that moment. Ooh, you know what? It's all right, it's nice. You know, like you can, you can consume this. Would I go out my way to drink this coffee? No, because it's a bit, it's a bit on the watery mad side and yeah, it's not really five out of five. It's more like two out of five, I'd say, yeah. But I must say, we're not entirely here for the coffee. We're here to bring you the best vibes for nighttime coffee life. And I think for the vibe check, this place definitely takes all of the boxes because the vibe's there and you can get coffee at night, which is chill. So we're here in Soho at Bar Italia and I got a little story about this place. Basically, I said to my dad, I was going to Soho to look for a late night coffee shop and he mentioned Bar Italia and he used to actually come here a long time ago because this coffee shop here has been here a long time. But anyway, I came here to get a coffee because as you can see, the sky is dark and it's nighttime and I need myself some caffeine. So what I've got here is an oat latte and basically I'm just gonna drink it for your faces and I'm not gonna lie, I, I, like, I like this cup. <laughs> the cup is very nice. Um, I like that and that shows that this place has put a lot of love and thought into the whole like feng shui-ness of the place. And talking about feng shui-ness, the one thing that I do love about this place is the whole atmosphere. Yet again, it's very vibrant, shiny and I like shiny stuff. Basically now, um, I'm just going to drink this coffee and basically tell you if it's good or not. Um, you know the deal. That's good. That's some good shit. I'm happy mate. Ooh, I like that. That's a, that's a five out of five, like the creaminess, the coffee, it's nice. This place closes at like something in the morning, I think. And yeah, I didn't know it existed. I think I found myself a new late night coffee shop. Yeah, 
So I've arrived at the fourth late night coffee shop in Soho called Balans. Is that how you say it, James? I think so. Balans? Yeah? Balans? Cool. Balans. And what I ordered was a oat latte. And it's in a takeaway cup because we came outside because the atmosphere is so feng shui in there. We can't film in there because we don't want to disturb the vibe. And plus there's copyright going on in the background. And maybe in the future I'd like to get paid by YouTube. I like it. It's very milky. A bit too overwhelmingly milky. But it's still a good coffee, especially at this hour, as it's almost 11 p.m. at night. And normally, in London, that's impossible to find an independent coffee shop open at this hour. So, it's a win-win. Balan's Oat Latte is a 4 out of 5 for me. It's a good latte. It's a bit overwhelming with the milkiness. The vibes inside are vibes. And I do recommend to come down here because, you know, my word is infinite when it comes to the coffee scene. So, come down here, try it out.